What's up, guys? We're back here in the GSL Code A. And uh, it's been a great TDT series so far. Dream did at least begin the comeback. He, he, he's begun to climb. But, I mean, Hack is looking so solid. He really is. And like, that, that game was, was back and forth for sure. Yeah, I feel like Hack is definitely playing some of the best TDT we've ever seen out of him. And maybe Dream underestimated him, but he's definitely starting to work his way back into the series. Yep, certainly. I think this is going to a game five places. I think uh, we're going to the Bonnie Research Station now. Good map for drop brass, which Dream is very good at. We just saw in the biggest game. A really good strategy to counter the fast third CC that we're seeing from uh, Hack every game. I would not be surprised to see Dream do a similar drop with Siege Tanks again. Actually, we're going into... Yeah, we're going to the Bonnie Research Station. That says Echo, but... It's yeah, it's Bonnie, right? So just correction, guys. This is going to be Bonnie Research Station. Uh, this is one of the funnest maps to cast TDT on. Kind of a pain to play, man. I mean, it's pretty tricky. But uh, for me personally, my favorite TDT map to uh, to cast and to watch on. Since there's so many different things you can do, you can push the main. Uh, the you know, expansion's droppable. It, it should be fun. Also, we can, you can always have some proxy, whatever. It's a one-on-one -on -one map. Our game is now loaded up. Game number four here. Dream with one win. In the bottom center, in the red, he is SK Telecom T1 Dream. In the top center in the blue. Spenu Heck. It's very tense here. Dream only has one life left in this uh, in this tournament. He has to win twice in a row now to get to Code S. Where he wants to be, where he deserves to be. Uh, you know, it would be crazy to have a Code S without Dream with how well he's been playing recently. We're going to see both players go for a gas first again. We saw this uh, occur last game as well. I think it's basically the, the best, the most optimal choice on this map because the backdoor expansion is so easily harassable. You're going to want to have that opportunity as soon as possible. And uh, this is a great TVT map, like you said. Yeah, it makes for some really good games. I actually don't have the pleasure of getting to cast very many TVTs, so I got to cast one with you yesterday. I'm casting another one today, so I'm pretty happy with this. Well, I think we pretty much got all the TVTs we ever needed for our entire lives out about three years ago, and yeah. all of StarCraft 2 was TVT, so. It's true. But now that it's, you know, more of a, you know, it's a from time to time matchup, it, it, I, I do enjoy getting to cast it. So let's see what exactly the game plan is going to be here from, from these two. With Dream uh, going for. The uh, the same build here is hack. I guess we could come down to where the Reapers go, sort of like last game. Yeah, um, and we've seen a lot more creativity out of Hack's Reapers than we are seeing out of Dream. Uh, Dream's playing a little more standard with his. They could skip the Reaper entirely here, but I think they will make one. Oh, actually, no, both going into, into Marine here. They really want to save that gas for the fast as possible harass, which in this case will most likely be Banshee. Let's keep an eye on those second refineries when they get taken. That's going to be the biggest hint to us as to how much they're going to commit. We could see one player just take a Raven early and play that more defensively, start to build that Raven energy. We've seen that before too. If that occurs, I think it will be Dream who does that. Because he's already done that once in this series. The control we're seeing out of Hack is just really, really awesome. From little things like hiding Reapers and line of sight blockers, sneaking them around, to targeting Ravens in fights. He's actually been playing this very impressively. Strategically Dream though, making some really good choices. Widow Mines, actually. So we might see perhaps even a medevac here. No second refinery for either player yet. A very slow start to this early game. Yeah, it sh and it should be a little bit slow here. From here, we're going to have to see exactly, uh, you know, uh, how they're going to execute everything. It's sometimes in TVT like this, it's a little bit hard to speculate because it does come down just to the execution once they start to engage each other. Yeah. You could say whatever, but sometimes it just comes down to like, okay, how will that Widow Mine connect? Right? Right, exactly, because I mean, these two players are literally doing the exact same thing. Right. There's no variation here. Now, 
we also want to keep an eye out for uh, is, is one player actually going to go for that drop right away? Because what they're doing is they're spreading the Widow Mines out in case and one of these Metamax does come in here and then you just get a free hit on it. Not the easiest thing to do to kind of predict where they're going to go, but you know when it works, it works so well. Yeah. We saw it hack totally outmaneuver Dream's medevac in the previous game. He ended up losing the game because Dream did a really good timing attack, but, uh, you know, this is a, a very important thing to note when you're both doing the exact same thing. Who controls better? And look at how Dream controls the watchtowers. That's going to make this a lot easier for him to do, right? Yeah, absolutely. It should be. So, yeah, I mean, it, he can actually fly through that entire space knowing he won't be seen, which is a great way to go about doing it. He's going to come up here now, headed almost uh, to the top of the map. He's going to see the medevac that's coming his opponent's way as well with that Hellion. He needs to set up a response. This is actually going to be pretty tough for both players to defend. They're going to be multitasking on their attack as well as on their defense. He could even elevate her in that, uh, that Hellion. I think he's going to take both Hellions and try to bring them in over there. And now we have the drop coming in down here. Uh, with oh. The oh my god, the placement is actually... Oh, did not connect anywhere near as much as I thought it was. Yeah, Meanwhile, same. an attack up here over in the main for hack. So much damage already being done for both players here, but 11 of Dream's SCVs do go down. And actually, it's still not been completely dealt with here. And I mean, you I know what? Hack gets the better end of this. He's actually just going to clean this up. Yeah, he's almost taken care of the rest of it. Yep, with the landed Viking, that'll be at 22 SCVs to 10. And wow. That is that is too much. Oh, I oh, forgot about that. It's still here. I forgot about this. I, it's still here. Look at that hit. Okay, now look at Dream's face right now. Oh, there we GG. go. Okay. <laughs> Hack I was going to say that he had that look of, well, that's it. All right, Hack wins. Easy peasy. Congratulations, Hack. You have 3-1 Dream and earned that spot in the GSL Code S. You know what? You said it earlier, Taze. You said, you know what? Upsets do happen. They do. Sometimes players don't take their opponents seriously. Sometimes one player plays out of his mind. Look at Legend. Can't even believe it. Oh, my God. Well, it's kind of funny how that ends, right? I, the Widow Mine's just still there, still burrowed. He just handled the drop way better than Dream handled. Dream like over micro his drop or over, over micro his attack or something. Just didn't have a, a good response, and the Widowmind's hits were so good. I'm not even. It's a bad day for him, man. I'm not I even really. I, 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 if you had hit those IDs for me, I never would have guessed that player losing was Dream. Yeah. Same. Never in a million years would I have guessed that. But hack. This guy's got a lot to offer. Congratulations. He prepared hard. He executed his strategies and his builds well. And he moves on to that spot now. Totally crazy. Cannot be overstated how strange it is that we have this result. But Hack played so well. I mean, he deserves his code S today. His preparation was much better than Dream's. And uh, I don't worry for Dream and his career because he's still one of the best Terran players in the world and has other tournaments he's going to have Pro League to play yeah. as well, just like Hack. But, you know, this is an unfortunate moment for him because he's never able to do as well in GSL as he does do in these other Kespa leagues. Yeah, very true. Well, I mean, not much else to say there. Uh, congratulations to Hack. He moves on. We are going to go to a short little break, and when we return, we're going to have Impact against Flash. should be pretty sick. So stay tuned here at the GSL Code A.